low motherfucking country. Yeah, man, I had to, man, I had to, man. Bad bitch with the titties out like Janet. Fong Shui got me moonwalking Fong Shui. Red bottoms with the matching jacket. Bitch, I'm bad, you can call me Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's bad. Michael Jackson's bad. Fong Shui got me moonwalking backwards. Michael Jackson's bad. One thing I have to ask, man, the first thing I have to ask, man, where you from, big dog? I'm from, uh, born in Charleston, South Carolina, man, Gullah Geechee. I went downtown, Gordon Street, Roba Hospital, tried to all the caches. But I'm um, originally from uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina, a small island. You know what I mean? I don't even think 12 miles, I ain't even 12, like 6 to 12 mile island. By way of Bluff in South Carolina, exit 5 all the way to exit 33. That consists of the low country. Anything higher, that's Charleston. Anything lower, that's Georgia. So from exit 5 all the way to exit 33. Big shot to exit 8, that's my. That's my stop, Mr. 278, man, tatted on there. Highway 278, we ride it, man. I rode it for years, you know what I'm saying? Mr. 278, shout out to Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort County, whole Beaufort County, man, what up? Okay, 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 man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this thing, man. Um, What make you want to tell your story, man? Um, I don't know, man, like, it's, it's just different, you know what I'm saying? It's like. You know, I'm mean, actually see the cats on TV or hear cats on the radio. I'd be like, man, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? And then just like everybody doing the rap trap, but nobody, or oh, well, everybody's running off on the plug twice, but nobody ever heard it from the plug perspective of being ran off on. Or the other side of it is someone who was done dirty. Yeah, my nigga, he did me dirty. He he, he sticked me up, or he 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 got a stain off, or whatever the new term is. You know what I'm saying? Back with that. I'm from the perspective of who he got the stain from. You know what I'm saying? From the guy who was. Got there, you know, and taking advantage of and taking this kind of weekend. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, tell me when was your first rap song you remember ever listening to? Say that again. What was your first rap song you ever remember listening to? First rap song I ever remember listening to? Um, man, I can't remember the first one, but I do remember like my uncle. He was he was from a year older than me, and he was big on like the Das Vets. Give me the mic, give me the thing, help me the then turn. So you know what I'm saying? I come from that era, like the, the conscious rap. But like, I was big on the um, on the up north, you know, coming up. But then my cousin, he put me on the, he brought me back down south, like introduced me to the Dungeon family, the field mobs, you know, some cool breeze and the outcast, you know what I'm saying? So I want to say my first record at that, that I remember was to probably was the Dots Effect City when my uncle made, you know, like he put me on a little something, you know? Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, man. During your rap crusade, man, like, what would be the the best moment and the worst moment you had already? Um, the best moment I can say is really right now, you know, like being considered and being called for an interview. But just to the same time last year, we um, I was at the South Carolina Musical Awards, which we we'll attended tomorrow, and I was just a guest, um, attending with my my own engineer, and when she was nominated for the first time, the Studio of the Year. So a year later, we're going to 
and nobody even taking into consideration. I have no awareness. And a year later to be recognized and stepped on Artist of the Year, that's I, I still haven't done that song taken yet, and that's a big accomplishment so far. And um, the, the, the I'm gonna say the downside of it is um, you know what I mean? Like the downside of it is is swimming in this finesse pool. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody wants to check now versus seeing if we can get that check in the long run. And if we got them, if we have the ability to take it, there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just self now, which is cool. But you know what I'm saying? It's just the trials and tribulations. But also, I can't be mad at it because without the the, uh, the testimony, the, the test, I can't tell my testimony. You know what I'm saying? So it's all it's, it's all the catch twenty two. You got to take the good and the bad. So I can't complain about anything. Okay, big ass question. Can you tell us about this fun sway, man? Tell us Fonce about this fun sway, man. man. Just, it was so crazy, man. It was like, you know, everybody got their own term, swag, this, swag, that. And um, I was just thinking, like it's said, every rapper needs a niche. And I was like, what can I say different? What can I say different that, that it means how I put something together, how it's orchestrated? And the good word for that is fun sway. Like, my, my fun sway for the night is all black. And I'm Darth Vader. I'm feeling got them devilish. They said all white, they're feeling godly. All black, I'm feeling devilish. So Fon Swag is another word for swag, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and a lot of people told me don't even do it. Don't even run with it because it was a guy in Atlanta named Fon Swag. I look at it, that's his name. You know, I look at Fon Swag being my whole way of life, like how, how things are orchestrated, not just by fashion or clothes, but in your life. You know, how you put your life together, how your day-to-day -day setup is, how you, you know what I'm saying, your whole aura and energy. That's your Fon Swag. Yeah, okay, okay. Another question. Man, how do you hook up with Taylor Boy, man? Uh, the, the, the link, the link uh, to the Supreme Team, 93, yeah. was uh, life, I say call it life at the B12, man. Shout out to the B12 recording studio, the whole B12 recording studio family out there for all over the road in Columbia, South Carolina. Big shout out to Mo. He's always been doing them. Uh, he started doing them with the meeting group for the artists, you know, giving a platform to come network, meet who's who, get with these DJs, have a, a little platform to promote him. I did my thing that night and saw Taylor Boy, like he, he threw me, like he was a, he threw me, cause he came with his, he, he had his, he, his uh, basketball tie on, you know, that's before I knew him, he had the sweat, so I'm like, he can't just came from the gym, and what he got going on? And he came, and with, like, I seen him soon to find out he had the smoke in the air, that's what he had going on, and uh, what else he did? It wasn't, I mean, he did on the way, I think he did on the, I'm on the way, and me and Grown, we listened to that on the ride home, and I was like, man, my man is actually nice. You know what I'm saying? Even there's a lot of talent in South Carolina, but I rarely ran into a cat like, oh, my dog is nice. I'm a fan versus competition. And that was also, like, uh, we came back after the meet and greet, and I called him back, like, yo, I'll be in the city next week. Let's link up. We linked up. He came through. We did On The Road. We dropped the song On The Road. A man from France sent me the beat. Um, Lil Banks now, you know, records. And we just, we just, we did the song, did an in-studio video that same day, and I was just like, yo, okay, it's just, it's just another, Another hurdle we jumped over, you know what I'm saying? But bro was like, yo, and his word like, yo, bro, it's just phenomenal. I don't, I don't think you know what you got going here, bro. It's just, it's just, it's gas, but we gas bag, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and, and he really motiv motivated, motivated me to take it past the song, like, you know what I'm saying? And he even, he even pushed me to like, they do a real video for the on the road joint. And I was like, shit, I, if that's the case, do a whole tape off the on the road concept, you know? Meet me to tell the boy at B12 Recorder Studio got us here today with the On The Road album we released July 4th. Ten, 10 solid tracks on there, a couple of skits, but I really feel that's my best body of work so far, you know what I'm saying? And, and being that only half of me on there, so like, big shout out to tell the boy, man. He, he really pushed me just as much as I pushed him. And uh, I think he connected a, a big dot from the low country to Columbia and cross represent you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm, we met, like I said, we met life at the B12, and I'm so thankful for that. Man. Shout out to the Supreme Team, the whole Supreme Team, Teleport, and Casey, and the whole River, man. Shout out to Moe and B12, the whole studio. And big shout out to Goddamn No Shit, man. No, no shit. Good, 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 good handle, good stabilization over there, man. Your camera's favorite camera, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, man, this is a great question I'm about to ask you. Man, being that y'all a hot duo and everything like that, what? It's some advice for other doors and partners to, you know, because a lot of people don't have that chemistry or not be, like, a lot of people be all have secret hate against each other and stuff, man. I mean, when that's a big thing, like I said with Taylor, but it was a blessing because, like I said, I'm a fan of his, he's a fan of mine, and but we're also in competition. 
Like I told that the other day, I was like, man, you know, I love you to death, but goddamn, if I don't hear from you, I'm going to do this on the road video, so you better come on with front door. And that's a, a, a that's a, a, on top of everything, that's an understanding we have. Like we understand that goddamn being overlooked and underappreciated, you know what I'm saying? And, and being that, and understand that, we, I, I found somebody like, dang, like, someone who feels like, man, I got it, you know what I'm saying? Just what I need to do to take it there. But until I figure it out, I'm gonna keep working. You know what I'm saying? So he's taking from me, I'm taking from him on how to do things. And like I said, and that, like I said, that chemistry, it can't be forced. Like I said, I, me and Taylor Boy, we did, most of the tracks were on the road was done separately. But the day, like we, we did four tracks off there, and one day he came down to the room um, to the computer, and we just vibed out that day. But the vibe of the tape and make it seem like we put it, it been put together over a long period of time, but it just, some things can't, can't be bought, you know what I mean? It's just natural, can't be forced. And, that's one thing with a lot of artists. Artists say they fuck with you, but I fuck with you, but in the sense I'm, I'm still trying to fuck over you. You know what I'm saying? Versus just fucking with you and, under, and being a man or, or whatever and saying, you know what? I may not have it, but they got it. And let me let me push that. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what can come from it. Versus, you know what? Nobody going through the door if I'm not going. That's a lot of. That's the main thing. If people like people in South Carolina is like, we monkey see, monkey do. But if I'm not doing it personally. And I'm capable of taking it there, but I know you really got the juice. I, 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 I can't. I'm not gonna swallow my pride and deal with that. Versus in, in, under, in understanding, like if I help you get there and you do what you're supposed to do, you say who you are as, as a hundred or real nigga. You gonna make sure I'm straight because I provided you an opportunity. And it's only right that that energy is reciprocated. And that's the biggest thing. A lot of times the energy is not reciprocated. And I'm a victim of that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm all a victim of human, but I'm also also aware of people want to use and abuse. They want to do a track with you. They see value. They reach out, but they don't want to pay you. Even though I spent a couple hundred dollars on my video, I'm pretty sure it got them no shake. Spent a couple hundred on that lens and that filter. It got them for the lighting and that camera itself to got them be like, right, I'm gonna do you the interview for free, which is cool. But I'm pretty sure he knows the value. You know what I mean? That's what people don't appreciate. I know my value. I know I'm worth it. I know. I don't feel like I'm worth a half a million. I'm worth a million. I don't work that at least, you know what I'm saying? I just haven't figured out how to get it there. But, and it's only right that I feel like that. Everybody should feel like that. You know, oh man, he's such a such. Man, we like we all kings and queens. And I know I'm rambling right now because I'm just all over with it, but people gotta get back to the fact, like, have that confidence in yourself, like I'm the shit. I'm the mother, I'm that nigga. Yeah. If you did not know, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna rub it in your face, but when, I, when it's time for me to do my thing, please excuse me if I, if I let that light shine. Yeah. Everybody get back to letting their light shine in their own way. Figure it out what it is. You might not be a rapper. You might not be the cameraman. You might can be the mouth for me. You might be the mouthpiece to plug me into what I need to get to. So if everybody can, and my, this is what I was getting to. If everybody can figure out their role and play it and execute it as a team, man. You can't go wrong. You know what I'm saying? And keep, keep it tight. All that extra shit is just extra shit. The more, shit, the more people you got around you, they're not doing nothing, the more viability you have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And anything go wrong at any time. So I'm just go though. Just by myself, I got my man with me. If anything goes wrong, I know you're pointing the finger at me. You know what I'm saying? But the main thing in South Carolina, you gotta be more of a support system and also understand, I hate that I'm rambling, excuse me, but it, the biggest understanding we have in South Carolina, we have no market. There's no market. So we're building that market. Even if I'm, I'm, I'm gracious enough to bow out and say, I might not be the one to do it. But I may have opened up something or set something to get people looking to see who's after me. You know what I mean? So we just gotta be together in South Carolina, man. So, bro, where, where you where you see South Carolina in like the next three to four years, man? In the next three to four years, man, I hope it's not in the same state as it's in now. I pray that somebody, someone takes it there and is able to be the voice of South Carolina because we don't have a specific voice. We have many voices, kind of talented, and it's like. I know, unfortunately, I'll be like, man, if it doesn't happen here in the next couple of years, I may be having to go to another market to Atlanta, to New York, to LA. When it's in sight, it can happen here. Like, you know what I'm saying? The artists come here, we cash out with them, they go back to wherever they at and live happily. So it's like, it's, it's, it's just something not right. You know, I don't know. You know what I mean? But like I said, I would love to be the voice, if not one of the many voices we have. I just hope it, it, it catches up to the world and the world gets an opportunity to see we have to offer musically because in the hindsight they come they with number South Carolina in my area with number one for tourists 
feel like they come and they, they, they're aware of us. We just don't, we're just not known for music. They think we're slow and they think it can't be done. And the other side is kind of rappers who, who, who fighting that sound from the eight. You know what I'm saying? And, and like the reason I'm kind of taking into consideration, I think one of my consistency and my sound, like for a while, a long time, people told me, man, my shit's different. It's just, I fuck with it, but it's just different. And I really had to, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know, it's crazy, because I've been doing this shit for a minute, but this past year, when I took it serious, everybody started listening, you know what I'm saying? And I think I just kept hitting them and kept like, fuck it, my shit different, my shit gonna be different. And I, that's the, the, the main thing. So hopefully it's in the next couple of years, hopefully South Carolina is um, progressed, or at least got some kind of uh, acknowledgement or some kind of light is shed on this diamond state, because like I said, with a diamond state, Almost every other state comes from South Carolina, you know what I'm saying? So there's some sense we're all over, you know what I mean? They can't get away from us. So hopefully we're on we're in a better platform in the next couple of years than we are now. Okay. Throw them shout outs, dog. Um shout out man, first and first of all, man, as you can see good stabilization on the lens, no shake. And I don't want all buzz, no shake. Big shout out to No Shake Family for having me even pulling up on me, you know what I'm saying, for consideration. Big shout out to Roar Sound Studio, grown man, what up, hit it man. Big shout out to the whole Casey, you know what I mean, from the east of the west, shout out to the whole Casey, shout out to Taylor Boy, the whole Supreme Team, Bando, Woman, what's happening, everything, 93. Big shout out, like I said, B12, recording studios, uh, shout out to the whole Broad River, shout out to the whole Tuna, shout out to the whole uh, uh, um, Sun Valley, shout out to the guy that whole Barbison, shout out to St. Andrew, shout out to uh, the guy down to the Bluff, shout out to the whole Columbia area, man. Whoever, whoever rocking the low country, I thank you. And like I said, shout out to goddamn Charleston, shout out to the low country, extra five, all the way to extra 33. You know what I'm saying? Just, I want to give a shout out to everybody who rocking with me, who even, who even take me consideration, man. You know what I'm saying? And if I forgot you, I'm sorry. You know who you are. Big shout out to all my support system. Hashtag support system. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without the people. We're nothing without each other. Punch with punch weight. You know what I'm saying? Salty, salty. Sweet and overload, I'm in. Sauté more and in. Overload, I'm on. My phone's sweet and overload.